the Lambda function just came out yesterday in Insider Microsoft 365. And what Lambda does is we get to create some variables and then our own function. And then we copy and paste this and go up to Formulas and create a defined name. And then that function can be used anywhere. So for example, if I define the variable start, comma, and end, comma, those are the two variables. And then I say n divided by start minus 1. That's the formula for percentage change. Now we can test it right here in the worksheet by using open parentheses, which is what we'll have to do when we actually use this as a defined name. Start is going to be 100. And the end value will be 110. So that should give us 10%. And it does. Now when we put this up into define names, I simply copy. Click Name Manager or Control F3, New, the name of this Lambda function. I'm going to call it Decimal Change. And then down in Refers To, I'm going to Control V. Click OK. Now we can come back later if we need to edit. And so now I simply say Equals, and then I'm going to find the defined name. Open parentheses, 100. That's the start, comma, 110. That'll be the finish. And when I hit Enter, that's the result. Control F3 if you need to edit. For example, let's say that we want to always return this formatted as a percent and as a text value. I could add the text function. Comma, and then in double quotes, we put the custom number format, 0.00% in double quotes, close parentheses. And now when I click OK, click Close, that is amazing. Then later, you could have some instructions for a user with formula inputs. And then we simply use our defined name, open parentheses. I'm going to up arrow to get the input, comma. There's start and then end, close parentheses, and that is amazing. Now, what I really want to show you is Lambda with Let. Now, over the last year or so, we've been doing a lot of Let formulas to create single cell reports. Well, watch this. I'm just going to copy this. And that's a com bunch of complicated stuff, right? But we want to use Lambda and a defined name to make it easy for someone to create this report by only entering the 1, 2, 3 columns. So I'm going to copy this, come down, equals Lambda. And just for simplicity, I'm going to say DD, that's going to be for the date column, comma, PP for the person column, comma, SS for the sales column, comma. And there's our calculation, Control V. And very carefully. I'm going to highlight that because that originally in let was an input. Now I'm going to call it dd. So that will be this variable right there. This one for the person column will be pp. This one for the sales column will be ss. Now we can test it right here. I have to come to the end, close parentheses, and then we can test it. There it is, open parentheses. And then we want to highlight the columns, date, comma. Person, comma, sales, close parentheses. And it looks like right there, I better backspace. And now when I hit Enter, that is amazing. Let's copy it. This whole lambda let without the parameters at the end, Control C, Control F3, new. And I'm going to call it something like person end o month report. I want to put some comments here. So I just described what they have to do entering the three columns separated by commas. Now I come down here, Control V, click OK, click Close. Now down below, equals, and we'll find our defined name. Open parentheses, date, comma, person, comma, sales, close parentheses. And you are not going to believe that. I don't have the formatting here, but I am amazed. So we can create complicated single cell reports 
which are dynamic because they're formulas, by using the let function and then putting it inside of lambda. Wow, lambda is amazing, either with using let or creating your own function that you can use over and over.